anything. Held captive in a mysterious cabin somewhere in the woods, you face off against your captor in a card game to the death. Inscription is a bit hard to describe, guys. It's a card game at its core, but it's not just a card game. It's so much more than that in so many different ways, and I'm really excited to share with you what my experience was like in it, because despite it being a game I normally wouldn't gravitate towards, Inscription completely lured me in and consumed me the minute I jumped into its world. We're starting with the gameplay, and I'm not gonna get into the details about how the game is played. It does an incredible job doing that on its own in really unique ways that not only end up being tied to how it reveals its world and the characters in it and what your part in it is, but it's also somewhat of a detective story where as you progress and uncover its foul secrets, the gameplay will also evolve in some really surprising ways that you straight up have to experience on your own. What I do want to tell you is it's a dark and addicting experience where your captor guides you through a twisted journey as you try to survive it by beating him at his own game. He's not just there to defeat you either. There's an eerie benevolence to him where the possibility of losing himself is just as thrilling of an outcome that he constantly gambles with. Sometimes he'll gift you items that will help you in combat, or he'll replenish one of your lives to up the stakes in your favor. And sometimes he'll even surrender and compliment you on your performance. It all makes playing the game with him extremely fun and even hilarious at times, because in one moment he may be expressing this odd kindness towards you, but in the very next moment, he'll take it right back. And the lengths at which he'll go to ensure your demise are as twisted as they are entertaining. You also constantly get presented with these incredible risk-taking moments that either happen during its card game segments or as you're adventuring through its world. It's both uncomfortable and contagious at the same time, guys, and the entire game uses this two sides of the same coin formula, which was by far my favorite aspect of the gameplay. Every penalty has a benefit. Each bad decision presents an interesting opportunity. Your sacrifices are never without surprises, and dying always had me smiling. In its most dangerous and nerve-wracking moments, it's equally exciting and fun to play. It also has this incredible atmosphere that, without a doubt, is achieved by the sum of its parts, but in terms of gameplay specifically, its retro approach was not only nostalgic at times, but it also really played well with the aesthetic and soundscape of the game. I got some serious stalker vibes that also had this gritty hunt showdown feel and even a bit of a nerve wracking vulnerability that I'd feel back in the day playing Myst when I was trapped in some unknown place trying to solve a mysterious puzzle. The whole experience is just full of emotion that its level design, gameplay mechanics, and how you get interact with things in the world all come together beautifully, making this dark, unique experience that I really connected with. Now, I know I'm being cryptic in my review here, and I'm also keeping the clips I show you limited to what I think will sustain the integrity of its biggest surprises. All I can say without spoiling it is, the card game is brilliant, there's light puzzle solving and exploring that polished some of its more unique transformations, and speaking of, it blew my mind several times with how it would continuously reimagine itself that made my 17 hours in its gritty, corrupt world a fresh and killer experience the entire time. So if I said all that and you find yourself thinking, sounds awesome, but what the hell is it, yo? Then I have done my job here and the only thing left for you to do is to go play it for yourself and find out. I'm giving gameplay five out of five stars. Graphics are next, and Inscription is a very dark game, both visually and in subject matter, that it delivers beautifully by using a low-res pixel art design. The extent at which it utilizes this old-school look really depends on where you're at and what you're doing in the game as well, which, for the most part, I loved. Sometimes I did feel like a bit more continuity in terms of its overall design might have been better as it evolved, but 
Other times, the same visual contrasts would really fit what was happening in the game, and I liked that. In general, it's a fantastic retro design that sparked my imagination and captures a shadowy Halloween setting that 100% complements its most wicked elements. I'm giving graphics four out of five stars. Audio is up next, and its soundtrack and sound effects build on that old school vibe and design by using some incredible 8-bit inspired tracks. They're heavy on synth, have excellent beats, and utilize a mix of minor chords and droning notes that properly set its ominous and dreadful tone. It swells and breathes incredibly, and they even toss in these really eerie effects that sound like what might be flesh tearing in the background, or metal clanking off in the distance, and even these distorted crescendos that sound like reversed tracks that would abruptly cut off and add a ton of tension to the moment. The in-game sound effects followed in suit, handling the cards, interacting with items in the world or its characters, all had this spooky element to them that just felt badass and combined with the soundtrack created a haunting composition that really boosted the whole experience. I do think there's a small bit of frequency smoothing or mastering the game could benefit from. Sometimes certain tracks or sounds in the game would come off a little bit harsh to the ears, but it can be hard to balance things perfectly when using such a synth heavy soundscape and it's only a minor complaint. Overall, the game sounds horrifyingly dreadful and it's absolutely awesome. I'm giving audio five out of five stars. Story's up next, and this is a really unique aspect of the game. Part survival horror, part private investigator, part mystery thriller, the game starts out with you held hostage, not knowing anything about where you are, why you're there, or who your demented captor is that wants to play a twisted card game of life and death with you. In the beginning, it slowly trickles obscure and interesting information to you by way of introducing characters, exploring and solving its puzzles, and dying a lot. <laughs> and slowly but surely, you begin piecing together and uncovering its fascinating tale. It's an original story, which I don't get to say very often, and it has a very homemade feel to it, and that's also a compliment. For instance, it uses clips of real footage as a part of the storytelling that added this Blair Witch vibe to it all that was extremely gripping and had me on the edge of my seat every time. I can't give you any specifics, but I'll just say I was immediately hooked once the floodgates opened, and there are multiple layers going on here that bend and weave together that end up delivering a ton of surprises that are some of the coolest shit I've ever seen done in a game to pull me into its world. Inscription Story is a dark, emotional, and creative mystery that was truly unforgettable. I'm giving it five out of five stars. Settings are up, and in general, things are pretty limited across the board here, guys. However, it's not really a problem because the game is quite accessible in how basic the mechanics are and how easy it'll be to run the game. So let's get into it. There aren't any key rebind options, but you can play the entire game using only your mouse or by using your keyboard alone. So no issues here. Video and graphics are next under the middle tab here where you get a resolution dial and some screen options options, which is great. You only get one dial to toggle between low, medium, and high for graphics, but just look at the game, guys. The minimum specs are super low to run it, so unless you're playing on some shitty integrated graphics, you should be able to run this on high, no problem, even on a laptop, which I did at times. Audio's up next on the right tab, and you get a master music and sound effects dial, which is great. And lastly are the gameplay options, which are under the left tab, which were okay. There's no colorblind modes, which would have been good, but they do include a bunch of great localization options here, which was definitely needed. I'm giving settings five out of five stars. 
Let's give it a final score, guys. And whenever the AAA industry ceases to impress by pumping out reskinned versions of the same thing over and over, or by rushing some broken shit out the door, the indie world steps in with something innovative and imaginative that always reminds me why I love gaming, and Inscription is just that. I'm giving it five out of five stars. And I mentioned it earlier in my review, but this isn't the type of game that would normally catch my eye, but I'm so grateful to have played it. And I don't care what type of games you prefer. FPS, RPG, turn-based, RTS, MMO, what the f ever it is, guys. Inscription is a masterpiece of a game that I highly recommend. Thanks for joining me today, guys. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe and bell button below. Give me a like if you enjoyed the review, and there's gonna be a patron link right here in just a second if you'd like to support the channel. I really need your support, guys, to help keep the channel going and growing, so do check that out if you haven't already. Shout out to all my amazing patrons for your support. Thanks again for joining me today, everyone, and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Peace.